What if I told you the idea of a robot shaking your hand or vacuuming your floor isn't new at all, that long before Boston Dynamics or AI, inventors around the world were already building machines that moved, talked, and even cracked jokes? Let's step into the forgotten world of early robotics, not the sleek kind you're used to, but mechanical giants made of car parts, wires, and wild ambition. And if you love these glimpses into our tech history, take a second to like this video and subscribe. There's so much more where this came from. The word robot was born in 1920, thanks to Czech playwright Karol Čapek in his play R.U.R., Rossum's Universal Robots. But it didn't stay a fictional concept for long. By 1927, in 1932, Japan's Yasutaro Mitsui unveiled a steel humanoid robot that, while barely mobile, reflected cultural respect with its bowing gestures. The robot didn't walk, but its exposed gears and wires inspired generations of Japanese toy and robot designers. Jump ahead to 1939 in the UK. Charles Lawson presented Superman Dennis, a robot capable of lighting cigarettes, singing, and even directing traffic. This wasn't a science fiction fantasy. It was a real machine standing seven feet tall in front of crowds. Pause here. Think about the ambition behind these inventions. No AI, no microchips, just gears, valves, and vision. If you find this kind of innovation fascinating, hit that like button. It helps bring these lost stories back into the light. In Spain, the 1953 debut of El Chispas added sparks, literally, to robot design. Built by radio engineers, it could move its arms and talk. Presented at a town festival, it captivated an entire community. Meanwhile in France, Cosmos the robot joined a science exhibition in 1958, standing beside a helicopter on the banks of the Seine. And in the Soviet Union, Sepulka, a robotic guide controlled remotely, echoed the mechanical characters of author Stanislaw Lem. Now let's talk about a real game changer, Unimate, 1961. This was no show robot. It was the first industrial robot to work on a car assembly line in New Jersey, created by George George Duvall, Unimate didn't sing or wave at crowds. It picked up red-hot castings and welded them onto cars, saving workers from toxic fumes and dangerous machinery. This was the moment robots left the stage and entered the workforce. The same year, Hughes Aircraft launched Mobot, a robot designed to help with tasks like combing hair or zipping dresses. The idea was radical, domestic automation, before anyone had personal computers. Can you imagine how people reacted? And here's a moment to reflect. If someone in 1960 saw the robot assistants we have today, what would they say? Don't scroll past this. If this is blowing your mind like it did mine, subscribe. You'll want to see where robotics went from here. NASA even tested a hydraulic robot in 1965 to simulate spacesuit movements. This robot could shrug, shake hands, and measure pressure points until it started leaking oil and got shelved. Some robots were built just to amaze, like Geigen from 1957, standing eight feet tall, shuffling forward at 10 feet per minute with glowing eyes, or Freddy Ford, built entirely from Ford car parts. He entertained crowds at car shows with jokes and praise for the company. And then there's A-Rock, created in the 1970s by Ben Scora. This robot could vacuum, mix drinks, and walk the dog. Powered by car batteries, remote controlled via FM signals, he had a motorcycle helmet for a head and dryer hose arms. That's how resourceful and inventive people were. Want to see more of these strange, brilliant machines? Tap the like button. I promise, we're just getting started. Some robots stayed in the shadows, like Barbarossa from 1909, a mysterious Berlin exhibit rumored to whistle, sing, and laugh, powered by secret motors and early wireless tech, or Eric, Britain's first robot in 1928 who could bow and turn his head, a mechanical gentleman with a sense of occasion. And don't forget Goro, the winking robot from Tokyo in 1964, or Robo Sensor from 1982 in Japan, which could read your body temperature and comment on your handshake. These weren't just machines. They were a glimpse of the future, as imagined by people with typewriters, soldering irons, and raw curiosity. And yet many of these stories have been lost, buried in forgotten books and dusty photo archives. If you're still here, you're one of the rare people who care about this kind of history. Subscribe to join the others who want to preserve and explore the world's forgotten inventions, because the past is full of futures that almost happened. The silent film Metropolis introduced Maria, a humanoid machine that stunned the world with its design and presence. Inventors weren't watching from the sidelines. 